Over the years, when it comes to Audrey Roloff's personal life, she has been an open book to all. Based on recent events, though, do Audrey and her husband Jeremy have accounting problems? Or does the couple have severe financial crises? This question occurs to me because Audrey went on Instagram and posted her old clothing items, putting them up for sale. Among all the items were used Nike sneakers and recycled Fabletic leggings priced at $20. She also listed other clothing items that could be exchanged for money – skirts, jackets, dresses, boots and sportswear. I wouldn't have been affected by this post if it weren't for the following. In late November, Audrey wrote a social media admission that many of her business ventures were a failure. Together, we have designed and published five books to help encourage and equip families to be more intentional with how they are living and cherishing their life," Audrey wrote on Instagram at the time. From working online to working with our hands renovating our mountain Airbnb cabin and moving dirt on the farm to prepare for what's to come here, we've always worked together. Audrey then confessed, some of our business have made zero money, some have been extremely profitable and others have actually cost us. Along the way, we have quit and stopped a lot of things in order to start or give more attention to others," Roloff continued. And it's become more challenging as our family has grown. But I think we will always choose this way of working and all the unknowns and uncertainty that it brings. They left Little People Big World in 2018 and have worked as writers and podcast hosts ever since. They've also tried to sell original clothing and marriage magazines. In July 2022, the Roloffs purchased a farmhouse that needs more work put into it, which got me thinking that the cost of this house and the renovations could be a money hit for Audrey and Jeremy. As of December, $694,570 worth of improvements had been made to the house. That's even though the family was already dealing with broken appliances, a rat infestation and a loss of electricity. Without a steady paycheck, it's fair to ask, how desperate is this couple for money? Thanks for checking in. Bye-bye, see you soon.